Have you ever been watching one of Disney's animated movies and suddenly been overwhelmed by deja vu? You actually had a very good reason for that feeling. It turns out that Disney reused animation from older films in newer films for decades. Why? It was a way to make the tedious process of creating hand-drawn animation cheaper and less time-consuming. If you look closely, you'll see some of the same animations sprinkled throughout some of Disney's most famous movies. In this video, we're taking a look at 25 examples. Number 1. Ballroom Dance, Sleeping Beauty and Beauty and the Beast While most of our examples of Disney reusing its own animation are from its older films, this first example is from 1991's Beauty and the Beast. At the end of the movie, Belle and her now human beast are dancing, but it turns out their moves aren't original. No, they've borrowed their ballroom dancing know-how from Sleeping Beauty's Aurora and Prince Philip. That royal pair also dance at the end of their 1959 film. The dance is so magical that they even end up leaving the ballroom and twirling away through the clouds. Clouds. While Belle and the Beast's dance wasn't nearly as gravity-defying, the animators for the movie still felt it was worth reappropriating for their final sequence. Number 2. Little John and Baloo, Robin Hood and the Jungle Book Were there ever two characters more alike than Baloo from 1967's The Jungle Book and Little John from 1973's Robin Hood? They may be in totally different stories that have pretty much nothing in common, but these two bears are eerily similar. Sure, one's dancing with an orangutan and the other one is dancing with a chicken, but they both seem to know the exact same moves. Baloo and Little John even share that same dazed look in their eyes. And if that weren't enough, they even share a voice. Phil Harris was behind the vocals for both bears. Robin Hood was actually one of Disney's lowest budget films, so Disney reused a lot of animation from other films to keep costs down on the movie. One shortcut was tracing over the drawings of the beloved bear Baloo to create the bear that we know as Little John. It's a process called rotoscoping. Number 3. The Underwater Scene – Pinocchio and Alice in Wonderland Here's another example in which Disney recycled an underwater scene from 1940's Pinocchio for 1951's Alice in Wonderland. Of course, these two scenes actually use very different backgrounds. Meanwhile, the scene from Pinocchio features a creepy-looking octopus, while the Alice in Wonderland scene follows a top-hatted walrus. What's especially noteworthy here, though, is the way the different sea creatures move forward. Traditional animation is a painstaking process. Each individual frame of a movie needs to be drawn by hand, which means there are thousands of animated cells created for a single film. Recycling the Pinocchio scene for Alice in Wonderland helped save time. It ensured that the animators didn't have to spend as many days researching different kinds of fish and how light and movement look under water. Number 4. Hair Pulling – The Princess and the Frog and the Sword in the Stone Today, Disney animated movies like Frozen and Ralph Breaks the Internet use computer animation. However, as recently as 2009, The Princess and the Frog was created with traditional hand-drawn animation. By that time, Disney was a box office behemoth and rotoscoping wasn't used nearly as much in their films as it was in the past. But that doesn't mean it wasn't used at all. One scene featuring Louis the Alligator bears a striking resemblance to a sequence with Madame Mim from 1963's The Sword in in the stone. While Madame Mim is pulling her hair, though, Louis is hairless, so he grabs and separates some willow branches. Either way, both characters manage to make their point. Still, it's surprising that the animators for The Princess and the Frog would think to recreate this Madame Mim moment with Louis. There's an almost 50-year gap between the two films. Number 5. Elephant Interruptus – Robin Hood and the Jungle Book Yet another example of Robin Hood borrowing from The Jungle Book comes in this elephant-centric sequence. The Jungle Book was one of the earliest Disney movies to heavily involve animated wild animals. So when Disney decided to make Robin Hood with cartoon animals instead of people, it seems that The Jungle Book became a model for the newer film. Not only do Baloo and Little John pretty much look the same, these two elephants look exactly alike, even down to one slightly floppy ear. And in both cases, the elephants involved are trying to trumpet, only to find their efforts interrupted. You'd look annoyed too if someone kept silencing you. Number 6. Duchess and Maid Marian, The Aristocrats and Robin Hood Robin Hood didn't just repurpose animation from The Jungle Book, though. It also took cues from other Disney animated movies, especially when it came to Maid Marian's big dance number. Many Disney movies include a sequence with the characters dancing. This is true of Robin Hood, and it's also true of The Aristocats. The Aristocats was released just three years before Robin Hood, in 1970, and it included a scene where Duchess the Cat cuts a rug. Apparently, the animators of Robin Hood felt that Maid Marian would use the same moves because they recycled them for her. Even though the look of the characters and the music they're dancing to is totally different, everything else is the same. That includes the expression on all of the other characters' faces. Number 7. Keep Away – The Jungle Book and Ichabod and Mr. Toad 1949's The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad told two very different stories. 
The story of Mr. Toad was an adaptation of The Wind in the Willows, focusing on the title Toad becoming obsessed with the latest transportation fads. Then he would head out on adventures completely unconcerned with the cost. In this scene, his loyal friends Mole and Ratty are attempting to save him from some unscrupulous weasels by keeping the deed to Toad Hall away from them. That was enough to recycle for a scene in The Jungle Book in which King Louie and Baloo fight over Mowgli. It's amazing how similar these two scenes look, even though they have completely different contexts in their respective stories. Number 8. Animal Audience – Robin Hood and Snow White Sometimes Disney copied scenes from its older animated movies to use as quick moments to fill in the gaps in their narratives. In many Disney films, the main characters find an audience who likes to watch them sing and dance. This happens in both Disney's first animated feature, 1937's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and in Robin Hood. In this case, the main characters attract the attention of a set of woodland creatures. Although in Robin Hood, a dog takes over for Snow White's deer, these two animal audiences are really enjoying what they see. They sway to the music and clap along, especially the three little pairs of tiny animals in the front row. These animals aren't important to the plot of the story, but they add some color to the scenes in both movies. Number 9. Playing the Drums, Aristocats and Robin Hood Ain't no party like an Aristocats party, so maybe that's why Robin Hood borrows from it so much. In this case, during both parties, there's a character wailing on the drums. Just like Maid Marian's dancing from earlier, the drumming is a direct lift from a similar party sequence in Aristocats. If there's going to be dancing, there has to be music, and these animals look more than happy to provide it. Of course, the rabbit in Robin Hood appears to be beating on a tree stump. Not exactly the best instrument for keeping the rhythm, but when you throw an impromptu shindig in the woods, you do what you can with what you have. Number 10. Partner Shenanigans, 101 Dalmatians and the Sword in the Stone Cruella de Vil's henchmen Jasper and Horace from 1961's 101 Dalmatians were an inept pair of bumblers, so it's really no wonder why they ended up being outsmarted by a bunch of dogs. Nonetheless, Disney took inspiration from the duo's shenanigans for their next animated film, The Sword in the Stone. Or at least they did visually. Just like Horace accidentally inflicts pain on Jasper, Sir Ector does the same to his son, Sir Kay. And apparently in both cases, these blows packed quite a while. Both Jasper and Sir Kay are stunned by the hits, and they even get the same googly eyes in response. Number 11. Head Meet Bridge – Snow White and the Jungle Book Yet another head wound happens when Grumpy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs clonks his head on the bridge above him. Unfortunately, the Jungle Book's Black Panther Bagheera follows in Grumpy's footsteps. Of course, there aren't any bridges in the jungle, so Bagheera bonks his head on a poorly placed log. Both Grumpy and Bagheera look up in surprise and annoyance at the offending objects, too. While the two characters share little else otherwise, their common response to these accidents is something everyone can relate to. Number 12. A Walk in the Woods, Winnie the Pooh and the Jungle Book Unlike Grumpy and Bagheera, the Jungle Book's Mowgli and the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh's Christopher Robin have a lot in common. They hang out with a menagerie of animals, their best friends are bears, and they both enjoy spending ample amounts of time in nature. On top of that, these scenes show that they walk in exactly the same way, too. Yes, animators for 1977's Winnie the Pooh went back 10 years to the Jungle Book and traced Mowgli animation to create Christopher Robin. In this case, they didn't just copy similar movements, the two boys' journeys are the same. They trapeze over the same log, walk along the same ridge, and both toss a rock into the abyss. It's too bad these characters never met, they'd probably have fun together. Number 13. The Battle Scene, The Sword and the Stone, and The Truth About Mother Goose The Sword and the Stone is Disney's retelling of the legend of King Arthur. That means there has to be a jousting sequence to showcase the old-timey sport as well as the character's prowess on a horse. When it came time to create that complicated scene, Disney animators looked back in the company archives. There they realized they already had the perfect scene at their disposal. A jousting sequence from the 1957 animated short, The Truth About Mother Goose. In this instance, what the animators needed for their feature was exactly what was already available in the short. So they barely changed a thing from the original animation. Outside of some color adjustments, the scene in The Sword in the Stone is the same as the scene in The Truth About Mother Goose. And since people rarely screen Disney short films anymore, this example of Disney copying itself is even less likely to be noticed than others. Number 14. Puppies, 101 Dalmatians, and The Jungle Book Puppies are adorable whether they're dog or wolf pups, and Disney's films have included both. It will come as no surprise to anyone that 101 Dalmatians featured a whole gaggle of adorable puppies, 99 of them in fact. So when wolf pups had to be animated for The Jungle Book five years later, the animators looked in the most obvious place. That led to these two cute shots of three Dalmatians and three wolves wagging their tails and looking off in the distance. While dogs and wolves may not have too much in common, these young pups might find that they get along just fine. Number 15. Dog Greets Man, The Sword in the Stone, and The Jungle Book 
101 Dalmatians isn't the only movie that The Jungle Book lifted doggy inspiration from. It turns out the animators needed to go back into the Disney archives for dogs to model their grown-up wolves on, too. And The Sword and the Stone offered the perfect sequence. In that movie, Arthur is greeted by two happy dogs thrilled to see their human friend again. The same happens to Mowgli, but this time it's grown-up wolves greeting him. And those two wolves act positively dog-like. It's as if these are all the same animals, really. Given both boys' ecstatic reaction to their canine buddies, it seems there could be a third member of the Christopher Robin Mowgli friendship squad, too. Number 16. Dancing Fun – Robin Hood and Snow White we showed you earlier how much of Robin Hood was copied from the films Aristocats and The Jungle Book. That included some dancing by Maid Marian. But it turns out Duchess the Cat isn't the only one Marian gets her moves from. She also relies heavily on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In fact, Snow White and the Dwarfs have another party scene that's quite similar to the one from Robin Hood, complete with dancing. Parts of that scene are copied exactly in Robin Hood. Animators even included the trumpet player following the dancers at the bottom of the frame. In addition, Snow White served as inspiration for Maid Marian's clap, right down to the way they hold their fingers away from their palms. They say if you're going to steal, you should steal from the best. Maid Marian definitely took that advice to heart. Number 17. Escape Scene, The Aristocats and 101 Dalmatians 101 Dalmatians and The Aristocats both involve the kidnapping of family pets. While one revolves around dogs and the other revolves around cats, that doesn't make these animal circumstances any less dire. So when it came to the escape sequences for the animals, perhaps it made sense that 1970's The Aristocats took cues from 1961's 101 Dalmatians. In both cases, an adult pet carries a young cat or dog to the safety of a moving vehicle. They're both harrowing scenes, of course. Who would ever want bad things to happen to puppies or kittens? Number 18. Scaredy Cats, Cinderella and 101 Dalmatians Disney films have actually featured a number of cats. And perhaps the most famous example is Lucifer the Cat from 1950's Cinderella. Lucifer isn't an especially nice cat, but in one sequence he gets so scared he jumps off the ground and backs into the wall behind him. Apparently Disney animators felt that this was a pretty accurate approximation of how cartoon cats should express fear. They recycled the animation for a sequence in 101 Dalmatians, in which darts are thrown at a helpful cat. Number 19. More Scaredy Cats, 101 Dalmatians and the Aristocats Cinderella's Lucifer was repurposed for 101 Dalmatians, then 101 Dalmatians returned the favor, when another fearful cat sequence from the movie was repurposed for the Aristocats. In the original sequence, the cat Sergeant Tibbs is trying to guard dog-napped Dalmatian puppies. His and the puppy's frightened looks are palpable. In the Aristocats, a lone cat finds himself being stalked by a similarly unfriendly person. So the animation was recycled, including the look of terror that both cats wear. Number 20. Applause, Snow White and Robin Hood This next example is perhaps one of the most head-scratching of the bunch. This sequence of clapping from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs was reused in Robin Hood. While the pairs of hands in the first scene are those of dwarves and those in the second are animals, the similarities are unmistakable. Disney apparently felt strongly about including the characters clapping in both films. However, they didn't feel strongly enough to create all-new animation when Robin Hood was being produced. Number 21. Bathing Bird, Bambi and Alice in Wonderland The natural setting presented in 1942's Bambi was lifted for 1951's Alice in Wonderland. The scenes feature two practically identical bluebirds that bathe in a lake next to practically identical waterfalls. The birds then hop on practically identical rocks and tree branches. Do Bambi and Alice in Wonderland share a setting? Hard to say, but those birds definitely seem to be at home, wherever they are. Number 22. Leaping Squirrel, The Sword in the Stone and The Fox and the Hound Another animal that was repurposed in a new film was this squirrel from The Sword in the Stone. The animal didn't just leap from one branch to another, it leaped from that 1963 film to 1981's The Fox and the Hound. Of course, one squirrel makes his jump during the day and the other does so at night. Despite the time of day, though, both squirrels look pretty happy to be doing their thing. Number 23. Riding to Battle, Ichabod and Mr. Toad and Sleeping Beauty in this next scene, a rampaging headless horseman served as inspiration for a gallant prince riding into battle. That's right, Sleeping Beauty recycled the animation from the Legend of Sleepy Hollow sequence from The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow tells the tale of Ichabod Crane's encounter with a headless horseman in the woods. The dark figure of horror and his horse may have had very different goals than Sleeping Beauty's Prince Philip. Still, the filmmakers must have felt the imagery of the headless horseman had just the right look for the prince as he took on the evil Maleficent. Number 24. Deer on Alert, Bambi and the Jungle Book 
Everyone knows Bambi is the story of a little deer. The most famous sequence, of course, showcases what happens to Bambi's mother. Despite how iconic that scene has become, however, it hasn't prevented other Disney films from briefly revisiting the moment in subsequent films. So a deer that looks just like Bambi's mom is seen grazing and then looking up an alarm in the Jungle Book. Meanwhile, an alert's mother deer and her fawn make an appearance in The Rescuers. Number 25. Dogs Give Chase – Bambi and the Fox and the Hound our final scene features another example of Disney reusing dogs between two movies. Bambi hunting dogs bare their teeth as they run through the woods. A similar sequence occurs in The Fox and the Hound, although this time it's one lone dog and not a whole pack. Nonetheless, unlike many of the earlier dogs we looked at, these dogs look positively terrifying. Were you surprised to learn that Disney recycled its own animation in its films? Share your feelings about the practice in the comments. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to The Binger for more great pop culture videos.